Okay, so here's the planetary gear set back together. Here's our output shaft. And believe it or not, it just uses this small hex shaft. There's our input shaft. There's no seal here right now, but I'll worry about that later. And basically we're just going to mate that back up to the motor. And that's, that's how it is internally, just without the spool. The main drive is this hex shaft. It goes into a planetary gear, fed back into another gear, fed back into another gear, and then finally to this output shaft. Now something I want to mention, those spacers we added earlier were to eliminate the on-off function. We don't want it to be able to free spool. And that's all been eliminated and a few parts here, springs and hardware. And we're going to close up this gap. We're going to cut this hex shaft and probably put some spacers in here, maybe a tube. But this is pretty clean. We just need a seal here. This is fine. We don't need a seal here. This 5,000 pound winch has a nice bearing here. And then we'll have this nice clean heavy duty output shaft here. Eventually we're going to go we're going to cut the spool up and we'll use this then as the input shaft on the landing gear. So again what we've done is we've taken the 5,000 pound winch, pulled the spool out, we're going to shorten it up and instead of having the output shaft drive the spool, we're going to have the output shaft on, on the outside, we'll have it drive this splined area which is part of the spool which will be modified. This is steel by the way in the 5,000 pound winch and all we need to do is drill a couple holes in it to adapt it to our existing landing gear.